what what is like the most common steps and procedures and um, the the risks not necessarily the risks but the um, benefits and um, negatives of some of those steps. So um, the basic knee surgery procedure is um, starts out and uh, they basically they basically write on whichever leg they're going to be uh, performing the procedure surgery on and. Um, when I had my surgery, the nurse actually told me the reason that they mark up the leg so much is that in one of the first leg surgeries, they didn't mark up the knee and they performed the surgery on the wrong knee. So they, that's just, it's actually a way bigger deal than you would think. So they mark it up, they write all the things on the leg with, um, saying that this is the leg, this random stuff written on there. So they identify the leg and then they, they have to shave your knee so basically they shave like from like the top of your quad down like your calf area and then that way they can apply like a disinfection and the disinfection is like a it's like a sludgy yellow like disinfection that like coats your whole knee so like if you've ever seen a picture of like knee surgery there's a lot there's the, the knee is yellow for like weeks after like it's, you can't it's hard very hard to wash off and then the final step of like preparing yourself for like the, whatever procedure you're going to be doing is um the proper anesthesia so like basically like depending on what kind of surgery like they give you the proper like like medicine to like numb your legs or some some of the anesthesia even like prevents your like whole body from like your lower body from moving so you can't like twitch during the surgery so there's basically two um, types of like major surgeries and uh, the first one would be arthroscopic and uh, Rick Wilkerson states that arthroscopy is a surgical procedure orthopedic surgeon use, uses to visualize um, to visualize and treat problems in the inside the joint. And then, um, so arth means joint in Greek, and then um, scopin means to look. So the word arthroscopy literally means to look within a joint. And then um, the reconstructive surgery. Um, ohsu.edu um, says that reconstructive surgery can help repair bones, ligaments, and muscles damaged by injury, arthritis, or um, deformity. And then um, it also can like you can also like screw in or like readjust bones depending on uh, what happens. So the first surgery I'm gonna talk about is arthroscopic surgery. And arthroscopic surgery is it's a minimally invasive surgery. So basically what happens in an arthroscopic surgery is they make two two or three small incisions. It depends on what is like what needs to happen. So like basically they make us like if this was my knee, they make a small incision here and a small incision here. And one of them would be to insert like a camera with like a light to like look inside of the joint. And the other would be to like if it was like a meniscus tear, would be like to cut off like the part of the meniscus that was injured. And um, yeah, like I said before, it's um it's mainly used for joints. So like it can be used in more places than just the knee, like rotator cuff and stuff like that, like elbows and like comes down kind of. And then um it's um it's it's one of the more popular surgeries recently because of like the advanced technology and everything. And the minimal scarring is always a plus when it comes to this kind of surgery. And um the recovery time is extremely quicker than that of the reconstructive surgery. And then, um, I thought if you guys follow the Vikings, um, an example of a type of arthroscopic surgery on the meniscus would be Adrian Peterson's latest um, uh, knee surgery, which he can show you how quick the recovery time actually is. And um, so he's back within a couple months of actually surgery and having the surgery. And then reconstructive surgery is uh, a very invasive surgery. It's usually made for like more um, more severe injuries, so it's the arthroscopic can't always be the answer. Especially with reconstructive, uh, there's always a very large scar, and usually the incisions are like four inches long and can be longer depending on what needs to be done. And um, the recovery time of these surgeries are extremely long because there's a ton of swelling, and usually if you have reconstructive surgery, the injury was pretty severe. Um, I mean, it's a it's a pretty broad surgery too. Like, there's like, like, like for arthroscopic, there can be it's mostly like meniscus for your knee is like the main thing. But like this is like ACL, broken bones, like 
any sort of like torn ligament in the knee, you're gonna need like a reconstructive surgery. And um, the recovery time is also extremely long because of, after you've been off of a knee for so long, there's a thing called muscle atrophy and your muscle basically eats away at itself. So your muscles shrink like extremely. Like, like some people's legs can be the size of like that. So, um, and I mean, it also comes with long physical therapy sessions too. So that's also what leads to long recovery time. And uh, another Vikings player that would have the opposite um, surgery was Adrian Peterson, who beat Teddy Bridgewater. Had to have like a full reconstructive surgery on his knee because he tore almost every ligament inside of his knee. So like his recovery time was almost over a year, which is insane. So those would be some of the main differences of um, what the different types of knee surgeries are.